Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. It is springtime. Joy unspeakable is coming to the lives of many and the rains are here. That is what the Lord sent me to come and tell you. And before we get to this word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, Father, they shall hear that which you're saying in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Men, Habakkuk 1 and 5 says, The Lord replied, Look around at the nations, look and be amazed, for I am doing something in your own day, something you could not believe even if someone told you about it. The words that the Lord gives me are usually seasonal. The word may be released for a particular month or a particular year, but that doesn't mean that when when the year is over and when we move on to the next month, then the word expires. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. The time that the revelation hits you, that is your season to begin to work out that word in your life. It doesn't matter when it was released. There are promises in the Old Testament that we that was given to the children of Israel, and yet we are walking it. We are walking it now. It's manifesting in our lives now as we place a demand on it. Revelation is always progressive. And there are times that the thief will come to steal, kill, and to destroy. And God knowing this, he put a provision in his word that when a thief is caught, he must restore seven times. We can always place a demand on past prophetic words and pull it down to manifestation in our lives. There are times that we don't even steward well the prophetic words that the Lord gives us and it is delayed or we or we miss the time of its manifestation in the particular season that it was released but God being a loving father being merciful and being faithful he always revisits us with the same with that word in different times and different seasons what he spoke over our lives he will confirm it over and over again until it it is fulfilled in our in our lives you see, God watches over his word to fulfill it. He watches over his word in our lives to fulfill it. And his word that has come out of his mouth cannot return to him void. It cannot fall to the ground. It must fulfill that which he sent it forth to fulfill. And in fact, he honors his word so much that he has placed his word above his very own name. That is what scripture says. That is how much he honors his word, which he has spoken to us. And it is us. It is us who usually give up on the word of God. It is us who walk away from the promise. And it is important for us to understand this, that to understand that because we 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 all process we all process prophetic words differently and there are times that we choose to hear only that which we want to hear it is important to listen to hear and to hearken to the word of god because most of the time when god gives you a prophetic word there is an instruction that accompanies it so it is important to listen to the end and hear what the spirit of the lord is saying and ministering to your spirit. Don't take it at, at face value. Many times in scripture, we see God saying to the children of Israel, is when, if you are willing and obedient, there is always an instruction that accompanies a promise that the Lord gives you, that accompanies a prophetic word that the Lord gives you. The Lord sent me to come and tell you that there is something great that is happening in the lives of many he is doing in the lives of many in this season you will not even believe it if someone were to tell you about it you will spring forth in this season your bless you're gonna spring forth into your blessing you're gonna spring forth into your miracle unexpected things are happening in the lives of many people 
personally and also corporately in this season this is the season for your dreams to come to fruition this is the season for your dreams to spring to spring forth your natural mind your natural mind may not be able to believe what the lord is saying may not be able to believe that which the lord is doing your natural man is gonna struggle to keep up with what is happening in the spirit with that which the lord is doing in the spirit things are gonna spring forth speedily in this season there is new hope that the lord is releasing in the lives of many in this season and you're gonna start to see things come up in you're going to see things spring forth in your life. You're going to see things open up for you in unexpected ways. Doors are going to open up for you in unexpected ways. You are going to spring forth to your breakthrough. You're going to spring forth to your next level. You are going to spring forth to your promised land. Springtime is upon you in this season. You are going to spring forth into heights that you could not reach in past seasons. They the enemy the enemy tried to distract you the enemy tried to block you the enemy tried to block your growth the enemy tried to block to block your gifting to block your promise but that time and that season is past it is over. You are in springtime and the places in your life that you thought God had abandoned you that are going to suddenly spring forth to life again. Th now is the season for you to think God's way. You have to see things God's way. Your natural mind will not be able to catch up with what the Lord is doing in the spirit. You must think God's way. For those of you who are called into, into the fivefold ministry, your ministry is going to spring forth to the nations. For some of you whose ministries have been dormant, your ministries have been dormant for a long time. It's going to spring forth suddenly. Their business is going to spring forth. Your careers are going to spring forth. The friendship, the relationships are going to spring forth. Everything in your life that was dormant, it's going to spring forth in this season. The rains are coming and the rains are here. It is not going to be showers of blessing, but it's going to be a down for a downpour of blessings in the lives of many. It's going to be raining blessings in your life. In this season, there is joy unspeakable that God is releasing in the lives of many. Joy unspeakable is coming into your life and you are going to dance in the rains. God says what he is doing in this season, what he is doing in your life, you will not believe it even if someone were to tell you about it but you are gonna live it it's gonna become manifest in your life may the lord bless you and remember that your father loves you so much he loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in christ jesus and i love you too and i appreciate you thank you all of you who have subscribed to my channel thank you all my new subscribers i appreciate you and i love you and i thank you for your comments for your emails thank you for sharing and liking my videos thank you for giving into this ministry may the lord abundantly abundantly bless you and for all of you who have been sending me your prayer requests know that i am praying for you and i am standing in prayer with you i touch and agree with you concerning every prayer request that you have sent me and god is going to do a great thing in your life you are going to work out that blessing that miracle that you're believing god for you're going to work it out God bless you.